the format of the robot. During an airing of SpongeBob SquarePants on October 16, 2005, numerous viewers, from children to adults, were witnesses of a series of abnormalities that ranged from confusing to disturbing. Prior to the broadcast, Nickelodeon was airing their programming as usual, with shows like Rugrats and Jimmy Neutron, having no technical issues to note. It was when the SpongeBob Season 3 episode, SpongeBob Meets the Strangler, began playing, was where the issues began. Viewers began to notice several oddities happen, including audio skipping, jittery footage and scenes skipping. Some viewers would rewind the episode to capture evidence of the instances happening. Many had assumed these were merely technical difficulties, as these types of things would sometimes happen to other channels. One abnormality however, would end up debunking this. During the scene where the Strangler had grabbed Patrick, it began to jitter and repeat frames, just like the few times before, but what happened next was something nobody could ever anticipate. The mouths and pupils of both the Strangler and SpongeBob disappeared, leaving them only with white voids in place of their eyes. The scene would flicker between that and normal as it started to play out again, before suddenly cutting to black, after showing a close-up of Patrick. After a few seconds of dark, a technical difficulties screen appeared, that lasted the remainder of the episode until cutting to commercial break. Pranks a lot soon played afterwards, and outside of audio skips and a few instances of jittering footage, the episode played out as normal. Normal until the credits however. The credits text would flicker briefly before disappearing entirely, the audio muted halfway through, and would remain missing, even when the logos appeared. The United Plankton Pictures logo was missing, only showing the water background. Then there was the Nicktoons logo. The orange splat was missing the Nicktoons text, and the copyright text was also missing. Some viewers were able to make out some hidden imagery, including a pair of eyes and the text, we'll be right back, in between them. Viewers would turn to message forums like SpongeBuddy Mania, to discuss the incident and providing evidence. Rumors were spread of varying believability, but the most accepted one was that it was the result of a hacking attempt. Viacom and Nickelodeon were silent about the incident, most likely to avoid appearing in headlines. Any evidence of it existing were lost in time, unfortunately, outside of the two screenshots provided. But perhaps it'll resurface one day? After all, they can't keep us silent forever. They can try all they want, but the world will know what happened. We'll be right back.